morning, Faith Community Church. My name is Jason. I'm with Clint. We are continuing our walk through the New Testament together. Today we find ourselves in John chapter 20. Some amazing news happens in John chapter 20, the amazing. resurrection of uh, Jesus Christ, which is just a, a key foundational truth uh, to our lives as believers. There's, there's so much that happens uh, because of the resurrection and so much of the resurrection means and and we as believers know that the the death burial and resurrection of jesus is to to bring forgiveness of sin to reconcile us uh to the father but it happens in a in a time and place it happens in a cultural setting in a specific time uh, this is an event actually happened in history mm-hmm. not a fairy tale right um and so what what does jesus resurrection mean uh, for the generation at the time so jesus uses the resurrection as a sign to the people. And there's a couple other passages outside of John chapter 20 that I want to read for you. First one is from Matthew chapter 12, verses 38 through 40. It says this, Then some of the scribes and Pharisees said to him, Teacher, we want to see a sign from you. And he answered them, An evil and adulterous generation demands a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was in the belly of the huge fish three days and three nights, so the Son of Man will be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. And then later in John chapter 2, actually in verses 18 through 22, he also says this. So the Jews replied to him, what sign will you show us for doing these things? And Jesus answered, destroy this temple and I will raise it up in three days. This is right after he flipped the tables over uh, in the temple. In verse 20, he continues, therefore the Jews said, this temple took 46 years to build and you and will you raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. So when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the statement Jesus had made. So this is actually referencing John chapter 20. At some point after Jesus' resurrection, it says the disciples remembered that he said this, and he was referring to the temple uh, of his body when he said that he would be raised. So Jesus used the resurrection as a convincing, as convincing and irrefutable proof that his claim to deity is true. Yeah, and... And a, a part of that, and as we as believers, we look back to the resurrection and we celebrate the resurrection on, yeah. on Easter and uh, we remember it and we rejoice over the resurrection. Uh, as, we, as we look at this um, in a more theological way, why, why did Jesus need to, to rise from the dead, right? Why, I mean, he, he paid the penalty for his sins through his death. Right. And so why, why does he need to, a bodily resurrection? Right. So first, to deny, to deny Christ's resurrection would be to deny Jesus himself. You can't believe in, the, in Jesus of the Bible and uh, not believe in his resurrection. Um, Paul wrote this to the Corinthians who were being enticed by <clears throat> teachers who denied the resurrection. In 1 Corinthians, it says this in chapter, chapter 15, starting verse 14. If Christ had not been raised, then our proclamation is in vain. And so is your faith. And then uh, skip a verse or two. It says, he continues in that thought, For if the dead are not raised, not even Christ has been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then your faith is worthless and you are still in your sins. Those then who have fallen asleep in Christ have also perished. If we have put our hope in Christ for this life only, we should be pitied more than anyone. So the payment for sin is death. The wages of sin is death. Okay, And so God in the resurrection is displaying First of all, is displaying his power over death here, but God has the power over death. If God, if Jesus just dies and our sins are forgiven, like the power to forgive sin also comes with power over death. Because mm-hmm. since since the wages for sin is death, God can now raise us from the dead as he raised Christ from the dead there. So if we don't have the resurrection, if Christ didn't raise from the dead, we have zero hope. And it says we're the most to be pitied here. So the resurrection is is victory over death. It displays God's power over death and gives us a living hope in Christ. If Christ hadn't been raised, we have nothing to hope for after we die. And yeah. we're, faith is worthless, we remain in our sins. Yeah, and it's it, this separates Christ and Christianity from every other belief system. Mm-hmm. Uh, we could have great le- leaders through history. You could have religious leaders who had, you know, tons of people following them, but they all have a, a common theme. They they died and they stayed dead. Yeah. Right. We can we can know where the the bodies are. We know where the bones are buried. And yet with Christ, there there is no 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 body. Like he's he's resurrected from the dead, and and we as believers can and should celebrate that far more than than one day. 
a yeah. year. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely celebrate it more than just uh, Easter. Yeah, and, uh, and it's 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 one of those things that as we, you know, are going through whatever issue it is we're going through in life, like, but Jesus is alive. Yeah, like, and it puts everything in perspective. Thank you so much for joining us today. We look forward to uh, our next devotional with you. God bless. Thank you.